Good afternoon, Doherty family. The moment you've all been waiting for, the next step in our social contract. And I got to say, last week, as I had a chance to review every single word and every single phrase for those four questions, I was really blown away by the level of thought and attention to detail that you all shared. So much so that we had so many amazing words and phrases, and it challenged me with figuring out how to bring it down to a shorter more manageable, more condensed list, which is what I'm going to present to you today. But before I do that, there are just a couple of things that I want to show you. Uh, number one, um, you'll see here, there are some words that are bold and italicized here and here, and then later on down here. These bold italicized words are non-negotiables that are supposed to be in every single social contract. And I'll explain those in a moment. The next thing you might see is some words below that are in red in parentheses. These are words that were um, some of the things that you all shared that I kind of took and lumped together to categorize with a word or phrase to keep our, our social contract as concise as possible and as manageable as possible. And so I'm going to walk you through these words and these phrases, and I'm hoping that you can listen in and think about whether or not you can live up to this social contract. In our weekly check-in form, you have the opportunity to do one of two things. One, if you love this social contract and you're good with it and you can live up to it, you're just going to say, yes, I'm good with it. And there's an option in the Google form for that. If you don't like this social contract because you think it's missing a valuable word or phrase, there's a space where you can put that word or phrase and then we can make the next set of adjustments. And then when we're all done, we can finally get this thing printed out on chart paper, signed and posted somewhere in the building. So in our social contract, we are agreeing to treat each other with mindful communication. And there were several words or phrases that I saw from each and every one of you, like open communication, like clear communication, like straightforward listening with a caring heart. I felt like all of these were great examples of mindful communication, so I lumped those together. Open-minded and flexible is next. And what, some examples of things that I also saw was considering everything, considering all viewpoints, being flexible. So open-minded and flexible. Next, proactive problem solver. Next, grace, empathy, and understanding. And other words and phrases that I saw that were categorized in this area were seek first to understand, positive intent, and caring. And one thing I do want to point out also is um, in some of these examples, I put the words and phrases that related in red. Not every single example. I just wanted to give you a sense and a flavor in terms of how I landed on these words or phrases if you don't see yours in here. The next one um, that I think is really important is your oxygen mask, which is really just all about practicing your self-care, taking care of yourself first so that you can take care of other people around you. Next, and this was the highest voted one from the entire Google form, respect. And that also happens to be one of our core values. Next, we have kindness and love. In other words and phrases that I thought connected with that, that were offered up by you were polite, approachable, the golden rule, friendly, inclusive, welcomed. Our next characteristic that's going to define us is honesty and integrity, followed by being present. Professionalism, vulnerability. Do you have the courage to be vulnerable, to open yourself up for feedback, to ask for help? Collaborator. Team playing contributor, positive, humor, which I think is super important in this day and age. I love this next one. Valued, celebrated, appreciated. The next one, hardworking. And then finally, constructive feedback. These three, mindful communication, kindness and love, and hardworking fit the three non-negotiables from Flip Flip and social contract process. Mindful communication connects to listening. Kindness and love connects to no put downs. And hard working applies to effort. So that is the proposed social contract. I look forward to your feedback in the Google form. And I thank you for all the valuable, amazing,